Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the disappearance of Dennis Lee Anderson. He went missing September 17, 2000. He was 36 years old. He was 5 foot 9 and he weighed 160 pounds. He was last seen in Murray, Utah. Um, he was last seen wearing, wearing a tattered flannel shirt, blue jeans, and he had a thin beard. He is known to hang around homeless shelters, uh, brown hair, blue eyes, and here is the Charlie Project, 5 foot 9, 160 pounds. He's never been seen or heard from again, frequent homeless shelters. And we have a, one John Doe that really was pretty much the only one I could find, but I added a couple more. Lake Havasu City, Arizona. This is a month later. This is 510. I thought it said 59. I don't know why. Estimated 510. Um, anyway, this was, let's see, he went missing. This was less than a month later. Um, estimated PMI one month. So it's about... Well, he went missing September 17th, and this John Doe was found October 7th. So, and Caucasian male, 30 to 60 years old, victim of homicide by gunshot wound, body found inside a sleeping bag at Sandal Cove, Lake Havasu, wearing a white hot boat t-shirt, black Casio watch, digital calculator, blue jean pants, size 32-34, black leather 32 belt, white socks, white Reebok, tennis shoes, size 10, Toes of the shoes were gray in color, dark colored men's bikini underwear, small size, 30, 28 to 30 waist, attached to a belt was an island pouch that carried a man's utility tool, pliers, knife, etc., and a mini mag flashlight with initials JKP inscribed at the end of the cap. So you would think that the man's initials might be JKP. Um, this one, he says, is brown hair, about 6 inches in length. So, and there's more information. And I'm not sure what size shoe the man that was missing wore, but I'm going to show you the picture. There's a picture of him. There's his photos. Here's a photo. I, I was looking at this second photo right here because it did say he had a little bit of a beard and stuff. And to me, I don't know. It just, and the hair and everything, I don't know it. It just looks so similar to me, so. Were there other images? Maybe it's this one. I don't know. Anyway, to me, it, it just really looked very similar. So. And the fact that they are about the same height, about the same time. I don't know how far of a distance that would be to travel. Um, and then we have other ones. We have a John Doe found in 2002, Oregon City, Oregon, about 5 foot 10, 2 years estimated PMI. Um, discovered Newell Creek below the Les Schwab store of Beaver Creek Road. And then we also have this one found in Las Vegas, Nevada uh, in 2003, estimated PMI, 2 years Died 2002-2002. About 5 foot 8. Hiker found partial skull. Kyle Canyon Road. Deer Creek Road. So there's there's my John Doe's. And you can pause and look at that. If you have any information whatsoever of what happened to Dennis Lee Anderson. If you met him. Somebody was drinking and talking. Um, somebody, you know, if you know who shot him or what happened. You know, you should come forward and you should let the police know. You should let his family have closure. Don't think that just because one person is living and you know this person that they're of more value than the victim because the victim is a victim. They have no more life. They didn't get to live their life. That's what's of more value. And the family getting to have closure, and you might be thinking, well, they won't get to have a funeral because they won't get to have an open casket, but they'll get to scatter his remains and things like that. So, and we'll help them to have closure. Not having closure is just a horrible thing for anyone to have to go through for his loved ones. 
And if you know who um, this John Doe is or any of these other John Does, you should come forward and you should let the police know. Maybe you feel like it's hearsay. And you know when you go to court, if it's hearsay and you're not sure if it's true, it's not good, to te it's not good for testifying. But you're not going to court when you give them information. You're just helping them to solve the case and you should let them decide what they feel is relevant or what's important. And maybe, you know, 23 years ago, maybe you were afraid to come forward or and maybe you're not afraid anymore or maybe you gave somebody the information you know 23 years ago and you're afraid they may not have that information anymore because you know sometimes the information gets stored differently software programs you know things happen so you should come forward with any information and let the current investigators know any information that you have um don't forget to pray for his loved one and the John Doe's loved one's families. And please feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.